A team of Japanese scientists claims to have pushed the boundaries of that paradigm by creating mouse babies with two biological fathers to do so. The team took skin cells from male mice and reprogrammed them into what are called stem cells. Those are cells that can turn into many different cell types. The scientists then identified the ones that had accidentally lost their Y chromosome and managed to duplicate the X chromosome. In other words, they changed the genetic sex of the cells. A complex technique, experts say the limit of male cells is you can make sperm but not eggs. Typically, the limit of female cells is you can make eggs but not sperm. What he or she has done through a process called sex conversion, he's taken XY skin cells and then selected way to make XX eggs. What those exhales were then fertilized with sperm cells and implanted into a surrogate mouse. The result, healthy mouse pops from two biological fathers that were later able to reproduce themselves. The technology is promising, but still highly experimental. The EF efficiency of this process is very, very low. So even in mice where you're essentially able to do an unlimited number of fertilization, the probability that any one of your in vitro generated eggs or sperm under these sex conversion conditions is probably only around 1%. So obviously there's a lot of failure here using it almost despite that Kazuhiko Hase's research raises the prospect of male couples one day having biological children together. It could also benefit infertile women who can't produce their own eggs at least theoretically it could even allow single men to have children with themselves. Yet scientists agree that the technique is still years from any kind of application in humans.